hello guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel i am shayan khan and you are watching data science insight so today we will uh, talk about uh, debugging because one of my friend told me that um, comment me that uh, how to install debugging in the jupyter notebook even though we don't use jupyter notebook in a professional environment like in companies we use pycharm because uh, the package of debugging is built in installed in the pycharm so uh, let's start and um, i will show you how to install it and this was just a quick video before we start the machine learning uh, it is also one of the important we will use pycharm also and when we use i will tell you when we have to start the pycharm and work in that uh, we use the jupyter notebook because it is very easy to understand at first and then when you understand its function and how to do all things then we will move to pycharm in the end when we uh, also learn uh, the machine learning and other things in this uh, now let's start and install the package first because the debugger package is not uh, built and installed in jupyter notebook we have to install it uh, if you use pycharm it is built and installed and in pycharm um, when we uh, run the debugger we just need to click and set the start and the uh, end and then it will show us line by line uh, where is the error debugger is used for finding the error at which uh, line of code or how the flow of the code is running if you have 10 20 lines of code so it show you from which line executing and after that next 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 which line is going to execute then you can find the error in that so let's uh, install it for installation i already installed it in my jupyter notebook so but you can also follow me this line of code you can just write in the jupyter notebook it will be installed so this and we install by pip install and then we will ipdb ipdb is ipython debugger it means so when you click run it it says that uh, it will install as i have already installed so it show me in this kind of uh, message when you do run it for the first time then it will show you that success, uh, it is installed successfully now suppose if uh, you have yeah i am using mac os if you are using windows and if it give you an error then you can write this code uh, this exclamation marks and then you will install like write pip install hyphen hyphen <coughs> ipdp this hyphen hyphen user when if there is when you are using window and some problem in this and you can also use this code it will solve it and it will install uh, so suppose if i make a function or i make a small code suppose for look for i in range in range 5 let me show you how how uh, how we debug in this yeah and here I need to import first now the uh, IPDB uh, debugger. So I import it and then I write my code. Suppose this is my code now. Where I want to, uh, I want to see inside how this code work actually. So I will just type here IPDB and then I will write here dot. When I click the tab it will show me different functions built in in the debugger uh, you see there is postmortem and i can use set trace or like others yeah so i can use this set trace set trace is let's start from this point so start from this point line number two it will go down and then after that when we click next next so it will show us when we run it it show ip db in this way now i will write here next so now here you see i start from here so the cursor is on line 3 now so it means the cursor is at this point now now the cursor will uh, let me see where is how the code execute then then it go to the first it means that the code start from print i it took it and then it go back to the for i in range I can also write n instead of using next so and then I see that here it is now in the this line yeah it come on the two 
when I click it so it come on the tree then because it is a for loop it will go and come down again and again and like this till it make the uh, the loop of 5 the, in the range 5 yeah I can also check now uh, the value at certain point that uh, what value of i is now it say 2 now it is on mean it run 2 time yeah it go down and then go up so now it is on in, in the 2 time so in this way this work you can also write help and it will show you a table like this and you can use this also uh, commands uh, of which is uh, built in and uh, they have give it for like help you can take also help from this well this was how uh, we use the debugging in the Jupyter notebook but uh, the problem is this that this is very painful like you every time write uh, next 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 like this is a very headache so for this we use PyCharm now suppose let me open the PyCharm and you will see that in PyCharm it is built in suppose uh, PyCharm here you see or VS code this help uh, these are very powerful and uh, if you do the coding in there you will enjoy a lot also very colorful and very good a lot of functions and uh, packages suppose I write this I start it I just want to show you here if I write here in this way like this is now here uh, open yeah a code it's taking time now this red uh, you see here this small bug shape thing is debugger <laughs> when suppose i run it so if this is a code i run it so you see zero and one yeah for i in range two if i put it of range five and then i run this is pie charm actually yeah? so this will show you uh, something like more oh, so you see here down is the uh, values coming here now I am using actually the mm, so you see here this loop range of 5 it's here I am using desktop so I am also looking there and here so this is a debug so when you click it now you are ready to go for a debug now from where you want to debug you have to specify here I want to start from here so now it will show you uh, a console this you see it will start it become actually it become blue but uh, as I have you see here now it's become blue yeah here now this is used to go inside in this so now it will show me how actually this code work you see now the debug work in this way like this is more easy just I am doing a click now it took the it also give information for i is equal to 0 now and then it come go up again so now i is equal to 0 and then i become 1 and then it will come 2 and then print and then go up 3 and then i it took i as a 3 and then come and print it then it will took i as a 4 and 5 in this way yeah and then it will finish so i set here the starting and the ending point and i see inside in this block how the debug work so these were the actually these are the tools how to uh, go inside in the if you uh, click step over it means to jump in in here in this line and Show me the flow of code if there is a problem or error. It will show you. Yeah, where is the error? like uh, Now here uh, are some other different like you step out you want to go out from this uh, So you can also out it from here and if you want to cancel the debugging just remove the red dots by clicking 
so in we saw that in PyCharm we only just click and do the debugging but in Jupyter Notebook we write next next which was a really uh, headache so uh, so today in this video uh, you know how to install it in the Jupyter Notebook you can just have a try to check your code how it works otherwise it's fine it's not a big issue uh, when we will use machine learning so it's mo much more easy so uh, I think you rarely need to check like this kind of debugging in that so uh, till that time have a good day and thank you for watching bye